she's best known as America's favorite TV mom. You know she played Carol Brady on the classic show, The Brady Bunch. And this year marks the show's 40th anniversary. Please welcome a lovely lady named Florence Henderson. <laughs> for coming. I am so happy to be here with you, Wendy. This is 75, America. You look <laughs> Yes! <laughs> you look wonderful. You keep your body together. Your hair is gorgeous. Your Thank skin, you. your eyes, your outfit. Thank you. Gee. Wow. <laughs> What's your secret? Well, you know, I, I just feel it's very important to uh, take care of yourself inside, take mm -hmm. care of yourself outside. And, uh, you know, I noticed as I was getting older that a lot of my friends, my contemporaries, you know, were letting their bodies go, their makeup, you know, they were getting all getting tired, losing interest. Yes. And uh, it, it really upset me because I'm all about life and being positive and yeah. energetic. Congratulations. This is the 40th anniversary of the Brady Bunch. Isn't that amazing? Friday night. I, when I was in first grade, because I'm 45, so it'd be Friday nights, it'd be Brady Bunch, yeah. Partridge Family. Right. And the odd couple love American style. <laughs> right. My parents would say, "Don't watch," <laughs> but I was. And of but course. like, yep, the odd couple, all that stuff. And so you, I mean, you know, your family is probably a big part of most of our families at this particular, yes. or most of us. Um, I remember, and, and I have my own family now, but one of my favorite. Um, episodes was when the boys were playing ball in the house. It, oh, yes. It wasn't my favorite episode until I had my own family, and now <laughs> I do. I'm just like, oh, the boys are the ball in the house, and that vase. And they broke your oh, vase. Oh, yes. And well, that's that's the the best line. People say, would you just say that line? I go, don't play ball in the house. Yes! <laughs> and so, look, and so, uh, Florence, America, we were going to get the clip, but it was $7,000. I know. Yes! You know what? The you gotta pay for that stuff. Yeah, Paramount Studios make a fortune. Yeah. Off of that. So I'll just describe it. Yeah. So, so look. <laughs> so all the kids were sitting at the table, and you were in the kitchen, and they were eating very slowly, and then the vase started to leak, and then they ate faster, and they played ball in the house, and yeah. you know, just another lesson. Listen, you always had great hair on the show. Um, I created those hairstyles. You know, as I look my back, mom had I don't know one. what I was thinking. Some, sometimes. But that one right there took off that you have right there. That is yes. like this, the early 70s version of maybe the Kate Plus 8. My yes. mom had that hairstyle, including yes. the frosting and the flip. Yeah, now, now uh, also a lot of people tell me, young people say, you created the mullet that I did. Yes, yeah. you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Now, uh, did you roller set? Did you wear that hair in real life when you socialized? Uh, that was my hair. That, so that was your hair? Yeah, hair. that was just my hairdo. I always changed my hair. I always wanted to do something different. So sometimes it would be very short. The first year of the Brady Bunch, a lot of you don't know this, but that big blonde uh, the head of hair yes. that I had was uh -huh. not mine because I had just done the movie The Song of Norway. And they had cut my hair and made the front of my hair very blonde. Gotcha. And then I had all these beautiful hair pieces. Uh -huh. So when I came back, my hair wasn't right for Carol Brady. So they put this wig on me, and I called it my bubble do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and that and that's was the, the, the early incarnation of the show. Um, I heard that you enjoy doing your own makeup, and even though we do have D'Angelo, we, you know, I have, you know, my makeup artist here at the show, but we have D'Angelo who does all the guests makeup, and they were saying that you like to do your own. Well, I do, because I have worked with great makeup artists like D'Angelo, whom I met, I did go in, I always give them the courtesy yes. to see, are they happy with the way yes. I look, you know, do you want to do anything to me? And he said, oh my gosh, no. But I've learned from people like D'Angelo, because you don't always get a great makeup person. Not only that, but the, sometimes your makeup person misses the plane or whatever. Exactly. I love to do my own makeup. I mean, I don't for the show, uh -huh. but I, 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 you can, I identify though. with you. I can. In yeah. a pinch, I absolutely can. Uh, okay. I'm just so excited you're here. <laughs> so okay. am I. Back. I wish you'd get some energy, though, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> really. 
back in the day. Yeah. The Brady Bunch and the Partridge family, they yes. were on at the same time. I think the Bradys were on for five years and the Partridge for four years? Um, something like that. And you both, you both um, ended in 1974. That's right. So was their rivalry offset? Would the kids see one another? Would you, would you go to each other's lots? Did you and Shirley Jones ever get into it? <laughs> No, but Shirley and I have been friends. We started our careers together, oddly enough, and Richard Rogers mentored both of us, yeah. the great composer, and we have been friends all of these years and never any competition. Uh, I remember Ann B. Davis, uh, one time she played, you know, uh, my wonderful housekeeper. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> She's just so sweet. And uh, somebody asked the question. They said, are you, about the Brady Bunch, are you the family that sings? Yes. And I said, no, no that was we're the family that acts. <laughs> 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 but uh, somebody took that as a, as a dig. As but a I, dig. We, we weren't a, a musical family in the beginning. Yeah, you know? the, the kids did do a little yeah. bit of singing and stuff. And then you guys spun off into a uh, cartoon. We I mean, spun off into everything. We just had a franchise. Everything. So now Robert Reed, a.k.a. Mike Brady, uh, I mean, I would watch the show on black and white TV with rabbit ears, but yes. every once in a while on a Friday night, we would be over at my parents' friend's house. They might have had a color TV or, right. or whatnot, and I was able to see his eyes. Beautiful. His hair. Gorgeous. He, just gorgeous. Uh, just a devastatingly gorgeous man. I just, when I was a little kid, girl, I remember just having a crush on him. Six he, five. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And, and so it must have been very, very difficult for him, though, because as we all know, he was uh, closeted, but he was gay, or at least closeted to us in here, yes. you know, watching. Um, and, and if he could have just lived to these times, he could have yes. been free and out. How was it on the set? Well, we all knew. I, I think I was the first to know, but, uh, you know, we had so much respect for him as an actor. And I always had such compassion for Bob because... Uh, knowing he was gay and knowing he was playing the father of America yes. and in you know 1970 they just wouldn't accept that yes. and so it was really difficult for him and we were his family he loved the kids he loved yeah. me and when he died it it broke our hearts yeah. you definitely have something to teach the old dolls and the old dons I got a lot to teach you yes. young dolls too. yes yes yeah, go. <laughs> I see. Honey, I got the money, I got the experience. I love it, <laughs> love it. All right, let's talk about it. Okay, well, the Flow Club is, uh, really, it's, it's technology is simple. And for years, I was terrified at the computer, absolutely terrified. I felt stupid. I didn't know anything about it. My kids would go, Mom, please, you've got to learn the computer. And then they're busy with their jobs, and they didn't have time to have the patience with you. My mom and dad are both alive, and they're both, like, 75 and 77, okay. spry and sexy like you. Well, here, are, how are they at, with the computer? They're really good, but I can understand th that when, you know, people, our grandparents, parents, whatever, they get older, and they, we're too busy to teach them. So they can go to the Flow Club yeah. and, and people who are experienced with patience. Okay. Okay, this is a card. I'm going to give you one for your mother and one for your father. Thank you. It's a, th a, a three-month membership. And you can find out everything you want to know about the Flow Club. What's so great about it is that, you know, we have all North American... Uh, technical experts to help you with cameras computers you can you can call and uh, it's with your permission they access your computer and all you have to do is watch and learn you can ask questions you can stay on as long as you like you can call as often as you like this is a very and big it's deal. your your computer is very protected it's very secure they can really teach you how to protect your computer yes and I have now learned folks I am so excited about this, and it truly, you to as you grow older, you must challenge yourself yes. all the time. You must keep learning. I can now share emails. I can now video conference. I can now see my grandchildren, uh, some in St. Louis, some in Florida. I can, I, 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 I'm well, on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you can learn this great stuff, too, if you need help. Find out more about Flow Club. Go to wendyshow.com for more information. Thank you so much, Florence Henderson, for being I here. I love you. Can I come back? Ask Wendy is next. Yes, you can. Yes, you can.